Apple will kick off the Worldwide Developers Conference, or WWDC, Monday morning in San Francisco. Excitement for this keynote might be putting it mildly. Tickets reportedly sold out in less than two minutes. The WWDC usually focuses on software, but many expect Apple to unveil some services and possibly hardware as well. One service widely rumored to debut is Apple's iRadio, or whatever the company decides to call it. Apple has reportedly struck deals with all three major labels, Sony, Warner and Universal, and the service is expected to mix aspects of iTunes and Pandora. A writer for the Los Angeles Times says the company has something to prove. Now that growth in sales of its smartphones is slowing, observers say it's more essential that Apple strengthen its software and services to retain customers and find other ways to drive more revenue. Speaking of software, the centerpiece of the day will most likely be the new operating system for Apple's iPhone and iPad. It will be the brainchild of senior vice president Johnny Ive. Ive has been instrumental in Apple's hardware designs in the past and now is shifting efforts to the human interface. Rumors say he is planning to ditch some of the textured surfaces and flatten the design. So that means goodbye wood grain shelves and iBooks, see you later green felt and game center, and ciao leather stitching and find my friends. The third big announcement expected Monday is the new generation of MacBooks. Most expect the notebooks to be slimmer, faster, lighter, and have a longer battery life. The FaceTime camera is expected to get upgraded to 1080p, and some predict the MacBook Air could get a retina screen like the Pro. Other hardware announcements seem less likely. Few expect releases of a new iPhone or an iTV or the rumored iWatch. But one iPad case manufacturer is confident Apple will release a new iPad 5 Monday. He's already made 15,000 cases for the new device, but won't ship them until Apple makes the announcement. Again, a new iPad is only a rumor for now. Expect some new app announcements and new ads at the keynote. For Newsy, I'm Candace Avilez, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.